And uh, for our final question, back to the right. Thank you. Um, appreciate your, your talk. We tweeted out a few days ago that you said, suppose you have cancer and you have to choose between a black box AI surgeon that cannot explain how it works but has a 90% cure rate and a human surgeon with an 80% cure rate. Um, Gary Marcus tweeted back at you saying you know, he'd be lucky to be alive in the year 2050 to see this. I'm curious if, if you agree with him or not and why. Well, without knowing what Gary Marcus tweeted, I don't agree with him. <laughs> um, Gary Marcus comes from a long tradition of people who think that most knowledge is innate. Um, so people like Chomsky um, and Fodor and Stephen Pinker. So Stephen Pinker is an acolyte of Chomsky and Gary Marcus was trained by Stephen Pinker. Um, they were convinced, for example, you couldn't learn, <coughs> you couldn't learn language. Language has to be innate because it can't be learned, which is an incredibly stupid view. Because if you ask, well, where did it come from? If it wasn't learned, it had to be done by evolution. And we know evolution doesn't work as well as learning, because learning can get gradients and evolution can't. Um, so you're appealing to an inefficient algorithm because you can't figure out how an efficient algorithm can do it. Um, if you look at what's happening with language now, people like Gary Marcus would have, would have predicted with complete confidence that it could never happen. The idea that you could have something, for example, that you could take 32,000 fragment, 32, fragments of words in one language, and you could translate them into any other language you like with a big neural net that has no built-in knowledge about semantics or syntax. It just learns from data. That would have been called associationism. And they would have just laughed at that. So the point about Gary Marcus is he makes all these predictions. And then when they turn out to be wrong uh, about what we're not going to be able to do. And he doesn't be, seem to be slowed down by the fact that, you know, well, we did that. Um, so, 90% cure rate. Would you like the black box to be illegal? I put that on because the European, part of the European Commission is considering making AI that you can't explain not allowed, AI where you can't explain how it worked. Um, I was amazed by the answers. I was amazed by, for a start, I said suppose, and then I supposed two things. And basically most of the answers were in the form, you're not allowed to suppose that. Um, well, but there were answers like, well, I would much prefer the, um, the human system um, because if it went wrong, I'd have somebody to sue. So, <laughs> so look at it like this. Well, his relatives would have somebody to sue. Um, people are willing to be twice as likely to die in order to have somebody to sue if they die. That seems weird. <laughs> and then there were people who said, you know, we should allow the AI system because um, it'll allow evolution to take its course and all the people who believe in statistics will be eliminated. <laughs> but actually, if you look at the supposition, um, the people who are going to be eliminated are the people who don't believe in statistics. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much.